Hi, in this video I will show you how Boolean operations work in plasticity. You will learn how to combine solids, how to create the difference between two solids and how to create the intersection of solids. Here I have a few pairs of solids and I will show you Boolean operations on each of these pairs. These are separate solids. So, to create a union of solids, meaning to combine solids together, you need to select these solids. We do this by holding the shift key or by selecting these solids in the operation tree with the control key. As for the number of solids based on which we will create a logical operation, there can be several of these solids. However, in these examples, I have two solids each. Now, to combine these two solids together, we activate Boolean operations. We can do this by clicking this icon, and here we choose the type of operation. Union, Difference, Intersect, and Slice. In this case, I would like to combine these two solids, so I choose the union operation, click OK, and now that solid is one single solid. The next operation is the difference of solids, which means we subtract one solid from another. In this case, I would like to subtract this sphere from this cube, so first I select the cube, then, holding the shift key, I select the sphere. I press the Q key on the keyboard to activate Boolean operations, and here, I choose the diff operation. I click OK and this is what we created. Now, if you wanted to subtract the cube from the sphere, first we select the sphere, then holding the shift key, we select the cube. I press Q, the diff operation is selected, I click OK and we created something like this. Now we will move on to the next operation, which will be the intersect operation. With the shift key held down, I select these two solids, press the Q key to activate Boolean operations, and here I choose intersect. I click OK and something like this has been created, which is the common part of the two solids. And the next operation is the slice operation. I select these two solids, press Q, and here I choose slice, click OK, and now these solids have been cut in such a way that the sphere has been divided in half, I activate the move command, OK, and a shape has been cut out of the cube and this is how Boolean operations work. Of course, if we have a larger number of solids, we can also use these operations. I will create another example here. Here I will create, for example, a few cylinders. Here, I press the B key to create a new solid. OK. I will add a few copies of this cylinder. Control C, Control V. OK, Control V. OK, I have one cube and four cylinders. Now, if I want to combine these solids together, I select these solids, press Q, choose union, and these solids have been combined into one solid. I press Ctrl Z to undo that. Now, if I want to cut holes in the cube based on these cylinders, I select these solids. Starting with selecting the cube, then holding the Shift key. I select these cylinders, press Q, and here the diff operation is automatically selected. I click OK and holes have been created based on these cylinders. The other operations will work similarly. I press Ctrl Z. Now, if I wanted to create the common part of these elements, I select these solids, press Q, intersect, and something like this will be created. If I choose slice, it will look similar to what we have here. And OK, Boolean operations are quite simple operations, but they are very often used in creating 3D models, and in many cases can be very useful. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel.